All right, what's going on, you Subway turkey sandwiches? On Thanksgiving, it's the day after Thanksgiving, however. Um, it's double XP weekend, so we're playing with a bunch of noobs in this gameplay. Look at this. Oh, I got some dead weights on my team for sure. But uh, today, we'll be using the Osa. This is a classic weapon. It's a little bit OP. Just a little bit, though. Um, obviously, there's a shit ton of recoil. And it's really not that good on against people on head glitches. I mean, it it probably is. And I'm going to be talking about that this entire game. And uh, I don't use this for the team or anything like that. So, you know, if I'm not that good with it, cut me some slack. But this gun is the best. This assault rifle is the best submachine gun in the game. And I'm about to show you why, okay? This gun, I bet you the time to kill on this thing is quicker than any other gun. And usually the time to kill in most competitive games is the best weapon. Um, to use in competitive, at least. Like... Starting off slow, boys. Starting off slow. It's all good, though. Um, but yeah, so... Weapon draft now is looking like... Like, you can just snap on people with this gun like so easy. Or not so easy, but if you do, they, you just start insta killing. Um, but yeah, as I said before, this gun is not that good against people on head glitches. Uh, it, what, like, it is, but it's not. You know, it's, it's just inconsistent. It's also got a fucking grenade launcher. You can't use that in competitive, though, however. And, uh, it's just, it's just a really good, like, say you catch someone out it would like, they have no cover or anything like that. It's a really good gun to just get those, like, kills when someone's just springing around like that. It's, like, perfect for that situation right there. Um, but this brings me to my next point, which this gun kind of ruins weapon draft and competitive. Uh... Before, there was the K-Bar, and the K-Bar is is good, it's definitely good, and uh, it's probably the best all-around gun in the game, but this gun, it's, it's more of a sub than an AR, it doesn't make sense, and right now, uh, there used to be only one good gun in the game, which was uh, the, the K-Bar, and I'm talking about this, this is after the Volk nerf. Someone just jumped over me. Gotta, gotta increase my snapper a little bit. But, uh... Let me, the grenade launcher. The grenade, the grenade launcher is terrible, by the way. It's fucking god awful. Uh, but yeah, what I was saying before, K-Bar was the only good gun. So usually, like, that player on the team would have to do well. And if that player really didn't do well, then it was not good for, for your team. And now that there's two guns, it... Like, I don't know if I like that that dynamic. Holy shit, that's a sausage fest. Uh, of, you know, like two people on the team doing, being able to literally get themselves out of any situation. Uh, this is the one before. No fucking aim assist. They gotta fix that too. Uh, but yeah, so right now I'm using the NV4 for the squad. And I'm like the anchor now, and I think that that's gonna, you know, cater to my place now more. We've, we've sort of switched guns around and all, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Damon's using the OSA, and Formal using the K bar. The only, pretty much Matt and Seth are setting some of the sub and the K bar. Me and Damon might switch. But yeah, so let's get to back to weapon draft. Um, the that's dynamic of two people having. Like, OP fucking guns is kind of stupid in my mind because it just means that, like, like the MB4 on this map right here, say I were to use it, the MB4 on this map competitively, I'm getting shit on. Like, this map sucks for it. Like, I'm playing to go neutral, right? So, whatever the map is, it's, it's going to be bad for, like, certain people using certain guns. So, like, the ARX, say... Or the OSA, whatever. Sound like 
retaliation, it's gonna be... It's not gonna be as good because there's so many head glitches, but... Like the NV4, just there's like no chance on maps like these. I mean, there is, but there's really not. Like the re like retaliation with the Osa, like you can play however the fuck you want and still get away with it. So, uh, the, I mean, the subs in general. I don't really want to talk too much about the subs because, uh, as you guys may know, like, like there's there's gonna be a huge sub patch, like. The subs right now are completely broken. They're all pretty awful and miserable. So I really think that those guns will be just, they're gonna be a lot better come come the patch. And uh, you know, you can't really take into account how they are as of this moment. But see this gun, like I saw 15 bullets too. Kind of miss a little bit right there and I still have enough ammo to get like one or two. We're side 45-9. I realize I'm not that good at talking and playing, but I am getting better at it. So, let's continue this. Uh, honestly, the Osa, I think, needs to be nerfed a little bit. Same with the K-Bar. I think all the assault rifles need to get nerfed a just a tiny bit. Domination. Subs need to get buffed. <coughs> I think that would make the game Go. infinitely better. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. So, the Nerk, or the... The Nerk, the Volk nerf, combining my fucking words. Um, I think that this gun would have been fine in Weapon Draft if they did not nerf the Volk. But since that happened, there's a. Uh, like, what I'm worried about is when the subs get buffed, the NV4 is gonna be complete dog shit. Like, I'm pretty sure I probably won't even run the fucking NV4 if, if the subs if the subs get buffed a lot. So, Security. just some something to think about, because I mean, as of this moment right now, the, these two assault rifles are absolutely nuts. Why my team is swanning there? No idea. Oh. See, it's just like, holy shit, if I didn't get aim assist on this first guy running, I probably would have had three right there. This gun is also really good for multi-kills, like, especially when people are, like, lining up pretty easy for you, so. Oh, shit. Got a claw. I'm also using the stud camo. Oh, and I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but... If anyone has a chem light or the Raven or the Neversoft weapon accessory, please post in the comments section below and like with the picture. I don't, I don't know. If, I don't even know if you can link. But it's just kind of like, I'm pretty sure those weapon accessories aren't even in the game because I've spent probably 200 on supply drops. They've got me, guys. They got me this time, and I have yet to even see one. The only like ridiculous thing that I've seen that not a lot of many like many people have is the uh, I think Clay has the, uh, the pill bottle one. Enemy UAV in your I've barely seen that one. Let me know what like things that you've seen that a lot of people like don't have. But this gun is like all you have to do is just hold R1 and spam L1 and just do this and you'll just literally kill people. Like like what the fuck is that, man? I wasn't even aiming. I was just lo looking in the general direction. Uh, but definitely this gun is one of the better classic guns. Like, Fuck, man. I need to, I need to get a score streak. Oh, um, so we scrimmed. Who do we scrim? We scrimmed LG the other day. Got absolutely dicked on. I mean, it was it was like the first time we ever played like a, a real like really good team. So it was kind of kind of to be expected, but oh shit! Oh what? 
No, man. I just wasted so much You're ammo. No, man. Security. No warden. But yeah, if I were you guys, definitely unlock this gun, try it out. I think you unlock it after procedure once, anyways. Because I just, I didn't even mean to unlock this gun, if I remember correctly. But this gun just. It's like, it's like the gun that you can play wrong with and still do well. This is like purely like the reaction time gun. Which if you ask me, like that should not, like that's horrible. That makes no sense. And my, like my reasoning behind that is that like, I don't know man. Like, it's hard to explain, but I just don't think that there should be guns that cater to people playing, like, the wrong kind of way. Like, I don't mind it if this was a f classified as a sub, but it's not. There's a range of an AR, the kill time of a fucking shotgun, and you can peg people from, like, any distance. Literally any distance, just as long as you control recoil. It's just not... I just don't think it should be in the game. That's just me. 84 and 18. That was a little rant about the OSA. Uh, I don't really want to call this a weapon draft video, so we'll just call it the OSA. The OP OSA. Yeah, let's do that. But yeah, if you guys have ever seen the chem light, I want the chem light. I want that the most uh, weapon accessory. I was running the IW1 that game and the uh, stud camo but anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe uh got got an s and tournament today so we'll be having some s and gameplay for the next couple videos so appreciate the support guys i'll catch you guys later peace